All right, guys, if you haven't heard, there's some new firmware released for the Basecam uh, Electronics, Alex Mo software. So any gimbal using that system, which there's a lot of them out there, um, the new firmware has a ton of features. Most of it I'm not even too sure about just yet. I'm still learning it. But one of the things that people are excited about is seeing auto PID tuning. Um, so if you don't know how to tune PIDs, maybe it's a good start. Maybe not. I'll show you what the process is and you guys can decide. Um, it is a little lengthy, but in any case, um, I've already brought up the software here and I'm connected to my gimbal. I've already updated to the latest firmware. If you're not familiar on how to do this, um, I could do a separate video on that, but do it on a Windows machine. So easy. Download the latest GUI, the latest software, launch it, go to your upgrade tab, make sure you're connected to your um, gimbal. And then you can click on this little check button over here. And uh, so we should be connected. The check button button will show you what the latest firmware is. You can choose upgrade over here. The cool thing about having the latest firmware too is, or latest software, is that when you upgrade your system, as you can see, I did the 2.42 B6, which is the latest, um, I could still downgrade. So I can go back to my 2.40 B8 if I wanted to. So the new software that you're going to download can upgrade and downgrade your uh, firmware. But if you downgrade your firmware, you still want to use the right GUI to connect to it and uh, tune it. Anyways, we're here at uh, the latest firmware. Let's go back to the PID tuning. Um, and just to show you that my gimbal is set up. Let me see, is it on? Okay. Here you go. Here's my gimbal. Right, camera, horizon, staying level. Okay. I want to show you that it is working because what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe out my PID settings. I'm going to zero everything out. Now, you don't have to do this, but I just want to show you that I will break my gimbal and then hopefully auto tuning or auto PID tuning is going to save us. All right. So if I pick this back up and I show you. It's, uh, it's not very stable anymore, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Actually, it's twisting now. So, all right, I broke my gimbal. It's not, it's not working anymore. So, let's look at the auto PID tuning. Now, you can slide this to better stability or better precision. I couldn't tell you which one works better. I've only done it a few times. Um, I'm just going to lean over to better stability and let's see what that does. Uh, we're also going to start from zero. Now you could run through all of the axes at the same time, but personally, I've done this a few times. I think it is better if you do it one at a time. Now, well, you know, I'm still learning myself. I could be totally wrong, but this is the way I'm doing it is I will do one axis at a time. So right now I'm going to start with pitch and then we're going to start that process and show you what that looks like. All right, as you can see, it is pinging the motors. It's kind of uh, jerking the motors a little bit. Now, you do notice I have some sandbags on my stand because this process is going to shake the gimbal and you don't want your stand to be shaking so much that it's trying to tune itself for a wobbly stand. So make sure you have a, a very secure stand. And uh, so we are doing the pitch. So it's going to mess with the pitch motors right now. If you look at the software, you'll notice the numbers are changing. It's doing it all itself, trying to find the best setting. You can look at the monitoring over here and kind of see what it's doing. It's going up and down and it's going to find the right setting that works best for uh, whatever camera you have set up. Now, you still have to balance your camera. Get it balanced perfectly before you even start this process. Also, auto PID tuning is not going to set up your uh, motor configuration, so it won't know if any of them need to be inverted. It won't set any power settings or number of poles for your motors. Uh, you could try the auto setting there, but you still probably have to set it manually. If you're not familiar with motor configuration, look at my other video, um, help you get set up, making sure your motors are set up correctly. Also, it does not do anything with your sensors. So you gotta make sure your sensors are calibrated. You have the camera IMU top and right positions set up correctly. 
and your frame IMU it has to be set up correctly as well, uh, the top and right. So auto PID is really just PID, and uh, so everything else has to be perfect before you even start this process. Now, if you notice, we're going on a few minutes here, and we're just doing one of the axes. Um, if you think auto PID tuning is going to be magical and you're gonna show up at your location, throw a camera on, auto tune it and you're ready to go, uh, you may have to think twice because it takes it takes a little bit of time. I've, I've done it where it's taken over 15 minutes for just you know doing a pitch or a roll. Hopefully it'll get done soon, we'll see. It's still working. Now if you look at the software too, these PID settings, I'm not sure how it comes up with this combination, but I don't think I would ever get to that using my technique of uh, tuning it manually. But we'll see, we'll see if it does any better. All right, there you go, done. Pitch is done. Let's just hit right just in case. Now, let's do the roll. So what we do is we hit auto. Let's choose roll, uncheck pitch, leave that setting where it's at, and we'll start that process again. So as you look carefully, you'll notice it's doing the roll. What it's doing is it's shaking it, and then it's trying to figure out um, how to stabilize that. And it's just tweaking all the PID settings one at a time. Whoa, I don't think it's supposed to do that. All right, let's time this guy. For some reason, the roll seems to take a little while. All right, we are still going on the roll settings here. So now that it's starting to populate the eye, I think it's getting close. Typically there'll be no uh, values in the eye until it gets towards the end. So if we're seeing something there, I think we're getting close. Been more than five minutes here, just on the roll. Oh, well, that's where it claims to be. So I guess uh, now we have pitch and roll. Let's go through the yaw. We uncheck the roll and we'll start this We'll see what it does with the yaw. And let's time this yaw.
more than a minute. So as soon as the yaw is done, um, we're just going to test it. We're going to see if uh, the camera can keep its horizon stable. Now, if you remember what my PID settings were, they were nowhere near what this is coming up with. Um, I also zeroed it out so that the gimbal was not operating correctly. And now we're just going through the settings, uh, the auto PID tuning, and uh, it's coming up with some, some other random numbers. Um, again, I, I don't think I'd ever get to this using my technique, but we'll see. We'll see if uh, this can do it any better than I can. We're way over two minutes already on this uh, yaw. All right, I think we're getting close. Yep, oh, that's it, yeah. So a little over three minutes. We have our PID set up all um, using the auto-tune feature. All right, so let's pick it up and uh, let's test this guy out. Let's see if it can keep the horizon level. Now again, actually, let me disconnect the USB. All right. There you go. We're free. Let's see. Let's see if this guy can keep itself stable. Now again, these PID settings are far from what I had. Very far. But you notice that the camera, I'll show you guys, has, is maintaining its horizon. So it's not flipping around, it's actually working out pretty well. Now these are numbers I would not normally come up with. I'm not sure uh, if the performance is gonna be exactly what I want when I'm running hardcore or anything, but um, I guess that's the setting in uh, the auto tuning where you want either better stability or better precision. You just have to play with those variables to see which one works best for you, but does auto tuning work? I guess it does. It's uh, it set everything up. The camera is able to stay uh, level to the horizon. It's not freaking out when I'm shifting the handles around in different angles. So auto tuning could be a good start. Uh, the new firmware seems to look good right now. But you did notice that it took several, several minutes to get all three of these uh, axes tuned up um, through the software, so it's not something that's going to be very quick for you guys. Uh, but hopefully that example of the process uh, helps you out. If you have any other questions, let me know at the blog, cheesycam.com.